All right, hey guys, um, I'm making this video for Nick Bonner. He had a question about how long it takes me to do a whipping onto a rope. So um, we're gonna do a little experiment here. I've got this old split tail and we're gonna put a whipping on either side of it. This will be the easier one, of course, because it's softer. Uh, and then we'll do the uh, throat whipping right around here somewhere. Um, I have my table set up the way I normally do. Uh, I didn't really set anything up to expedite the process. Um, my needles are sitting in this uh, jammed up, or uh, bundled up piece of rope here. Uh, I got my palm hanging on this hook. Scissors just sitting on the table. And then uh, drawer down here where I keep all my whipping twine. Um, so we're going to start the stopwatch and do it completely from scratch. Uh, and I think we'll do the one on the throat of the splice first. So let's get the clock started. Here we go. We'll take about 48 inches or so of whipping twine. Try to go with the smallest needle that I can, just because it's easier to pass it through the thicker part of the rope. And we'll go down around six inches or so. Do a couple of pin stitches just to get the rope started, or the twine, I should say, started. All right, and I always wrap away from the eye, though I'm not sure that it matters one way or the other. And this part tends to take a little more time for me because I'm very particular about making sure it all lines up and there's no crisscrosses on the wraps. It's one of my pet peeves when I see a, a whipping with crisscrossed wraps or or gaps in the wraps. We don't want either of those. Okay. That'll do it. That's the part that takes me more time because when I pass the needle through, it always wants to twist right there. And I gotta kind of stop and backtrack a little to make sure it doesn't. Come on, buddy. So I stop, split these things apart, stick my thumb in there. And that keeps them from twisting. Put them apart, set my thumb in there. Oh, that was a bad, bad needle entry. We've got to do that one again. There we go, much better. I'm going to make sure it's centered between those wrapping turns. Oh, come on, buddy. Let's go with a pair of pliers on this one. All right, so I got all my wraps, all my fraps. Now I just got to do the little square knot on the end here. Let's 
sink the square knot and then okay so I stop it and it comes out to four minutes and 21 seconds so um, We'll go ahead and do the next one. I think that the tail is going to take me about as much time, maybe a little bit faster, um, since I won't have to fight with the needle as much. So, uh... all right, let's reset that stopwatch, and there we go. We'll go with red on this one. I'm going to try to go really fast and not make mistakes, of course. Oh, the needle doesn't want to go in. There we go. So one step that I didn't have to do this time, sometimes when I'm getting that first stitch in, if it's not centered perfectly, I'll have to snip the end off so I do like it all to be nice and even I'm going to take three passes on this one because the tail of the rope is a little softer and squishier all right and then we do some wrapping That's good right there. I probably won't need to put the uh, the sailmaker's palm on for this one because the rope is so soft. Shouldn't be much of a fight to get it through. Right there. Okay, this is a final turn. We're at under two and a half minutes here. All right, there's our square knot. And after I make this final pass on a really loose, fluffy rope, I'll usually pull set the square knot and then I'll do a couple stitches down below uh, just to give a little more friction to keep that the little tail from backing out um, I've never had a complaint about them coming undone uh, which I guess is all the more reason to keep doing it that way but um, we're just using friction to hold that twine uh, we're just using friction to hold the tail of the twine in there, uh, no melting or anything like that. So um, on a loose rope, I give a couple extra tucks. Um, that's it. That one took me 3 minutes and 10 seconds, um, so a lot faster. Let's do a close-up um, of the finished products there. So uh, right about there. Um, so anyways, no crosses on the wraps or fraps. On either of them I noticed that there's some shagginess to this one there was a um, here I guess we can put them like that um, the whipping twine was actually fuzzed up like low quality whipping twine but it, I only use Marlowe whipping twine so never had that happen before but anyways that's it um, so three to four minutes five minutes if you're lollygagging while you're doing it if it takes you any longer than that you're fired so uh, I guess we'll leave it at that. There's your answer.